the yarn strip. Well, it's the well-rounded woman back again with part two of her patio makeover. You guys are in for a big treat. And one of the main things I have is a massive haul. So let's get started. Our first stop is Lowe's, where you do it right for less. So in here, we're looking for a fountain for my patio. Um, for Mother's Day, my girls gave me some gift cards and I decided to use them. They got them from Lowe's, so I decided to use them for a fountain. So my oldest is out helping me find one. There were so many to choose from, but when we found that perfect color to match the scheme of things, we had to go for it. So this is the one we decided to go with. Um, there was a few that I had seen online, but they weren't available in the store. That box was really heavy, so I couldn't lift it. And anytime I need something heavy lifted, my daughter, that girl is a beast. She'll just pick it up like it ain't nothing. Now to this massive haul. I collected so many things for this back patio, but not all at once. It was over time. Uh, and I was looking for some really great deals and came upon it. Now right here we have one of those backyard, um, this is not the cutter, this is off, the Centronella candles. Uh, my youngest one gave me this for Mother's Day as a gift. So we will definitely be using that in the backyard. We have mosquitoes, not as bad close to the patio, but as you get out further in the yard where there's a lot of woods, there's a lot of mosquitoes there. Um, but I have a tendency to burn candles anyway, but the citronella ones are always the best. Now these ones right here came from Costco, same brand, same texture type containers, but they, were the, they I think they were three pack, two pack. I know it was a great deal when we got them. Now I'll tell you something else and you'll see that later in my haul to use for mosquitoes as a repellent and that's the mosquito plant, the citronella ones. They usually have them at Lowe's, you know, Home Depot. You probably could get them from another type of nursery or something like that, but they really do help at nighttime and during the day. There's a few Walmart citronella candles and the mainstay, even though that may not be a really popular brand, but they're very, very good. They had several patterns, new patterns this summer. Now DIY that I did try, I had an old container that was a citronella candle and I took scrapbooking paper and Mod Podge it on. So that's another great way if you're looking for a certain design or a certain theme, you can just cover the containers with that. We even have some cutter, backyard bug control, or several different kinds of those because there's a dry and a wet one. I like the dry better because if you're sweating and you're in the back, in the, out in the yard, it doesn't put off as much water as if the, you had the wet one. Now I have these right here and I did find these in Burlington. The color was perfect for summer. I was thinking I probably could use them for the fall, but when I asked my husband, did he think it gave off a more of a fall or summer vibe? And he said summer. So that's why we chose to use those as a two pack pillows that we're using on our chair, single chairs. And then we got the long one that you could either put on a swing, 
you can use it on a bench and that's how we decided to use that great deal $29, $22.99 is not bad compared to some of the other places that you could buy cushions from Our second haul now we have a several places that we bought these items from such as Lowe's um, Sam's uh, the clearance section and Hobby Lobby Dollar General Amazon so we're just going to kind of skim through these and great deals again I know you guys have seen those usually when you walk into Lowe's they're right there these solar lights they've been like that for the past couple of years sometimes I'll move them into the outdoor section but um, I've seen them moved around several places oh I, let's not forget Target we have some string lights that I had bought with a um, gift card that someone had given me about a year ago and I went back this year and saw the same brand the same string the black they have the black or the white wiring um, so I grabbed a few more of those and also in this one, you'll see where I have a fire pit. Um, I was given a gift card by someone and I had a fire pit. Um, it's like a glass top fire pit. Now these right here are the Amazon outdoor sheer curtains. Now you, you'll see in that video where I had the wrong type of curtain. It was actually in my part one. And because they were not water resistant and made for outdoors, they began to mold really, really bad. So I had to throw them away. So make sure if you're using outdoor curtains, they're the ones that are fit for outdoors. Now I have a couple of bird feeders I got from the Dollar Tree and these pillows, I had decided not to use them. Um, they just didn't go with the color that I had already had. So you won't see this in the makeover. And then one of my biggest things is my ceiling fan. Let's talk about that in a moment. But these are a couple of clearance items I saw at Lowe's and you can use them to wrap your cord around. I'm gonna just use them for a few accent pieces out in my garden. There's a little, little less expensive um, brand right there. They're a little more plastic. The other ones are more like a metal type. And we have these two little clearance signs that I found at Home Depot, uh, probably about five or six months ago. It was during the winter time. They were clearing them out from summer of last year. I don't incorporate this one in the patio, but I'll be using it out um, in our outdoor kitchen. Now the Oasis I will, but when you see it, you'll just see Oasis. You won't see Howard Oasis. And I was back and forth with between chalk painting that like a buttercream or keeping it that color and I kept it that color. So I'm going to let you guys keep watching while I not talk as much. But again, that's my favorite right there. That is one breezy, really breezy ceiling fan. Again, in the video, this one will not be put up because my husband has been very busy. So we weren't able to put that up. But it'll get up soon. Keep watching.
and you guys know I'm a plant lover and I'm saying thank you to Mrs. April she was actually one of my um, assistant teachers that helped me this year and so she gave me this gift um, at a, as an end of the year um, present and it's really cool she wrapped it up so pretty but it's really cool it's a pineapple plant I had never heard of it nor seen it and I'm telling you guys, all it needs is water. Because I asked her, I said, now, I don't need no high-maintenance plants. I asked her, was it? And she said, no, Donna, all you got to do is add water. And really, that's all I had to do. Within about probably five minutes, it literally started growing. So over time, it has really gotten big. Um, it was just really, really neat. So I'm going to let you guys watch this. And I will stop talking because the makeover is about to start.
welcome back everyone. Um, I haven't been in front of the camera actually talking to you in a while, but I just wanted to say it's summertime, hot, humid, whatever you want to call it here, out here where I live at. Um, but anyway, I have a video. This is part two of my back patio refresher. I kind of was going for like a lanai type theme. I'm feeling that tropical thing, but I didn't want too many um, hibiscus or, you know, too many palm tree, theme things in it but I did want it to have that comfortable feeling um, like in a lot like in Lanai if you've ever lived in Hawaii um, that's mainly what they have what they call it we call it a patio we call it a back porch um, not a front but a back porch um, but there they call it that so I was kind of feeling that Hawaiian type um, theme going on with a few of the colors few things I added but not completely but anyhow you guys get ready because I completely made over my patio the only thing I did not add we have it and it was in if you look at the video you'll see where it's in the hall but we did not put up that um, ceiling fan not yet anyhow my husband has been very very busy um, I know you guys have heard me talk before and show one time before where we were working on an outdoor um, kitchen and so it is almost complete I would say about 90% maybe 80% complete so he's been working on that so much so I didn't want to bother him my daughter and I, I was trying to get her to help me put that um, ceiling fan up but she was like mom I was like YouTube but YouTube has everything but she was a little worried I was like you take it you put it up the same way you take it down but um, anyhow she was too scared to help me with it so I didn't put that up so that will come in another video but we did get a new um, ceiling fan for our patio we do have a wall mount fan as you'll see and then we'll have a standing oscillating fan and then we have a ceiling fan that came with the home but it doesn't put out as much air and the one that we have in our hall that I'll actually put up, like I said, maybe in a few weeks, I may show it to you later. But um, we've had that in a previous home that we own. We actually bought it from, um, was it Home Depot Lowe's? I think it was Lowe's. So we've had it and it has a really cool breeze that it puts out. So we're going to get started. I'm going to stop talking and let's do this. I do want to say so a lot of times when I'm outside if I'm not watching TV or maybe looking at something on my phone I usually like to take magazines and I have a few in the home in my home but I didn't bring them out but I usually take these magazines and I put them down on the bottom of this table but this is one book that my pastor um, had written recently and so um, I've had it I've had it inside the house actually I have several of them but you guys got to get this book if I'm not mistaken I think it's on Amazon when we purchase ours, we purchased them straight from church. But it's called Words of Wisdom, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly by Michael E. Grant Jr. You have to check this book out. I am adding that to my table. And yes, I am promoting him because he is my pastor. But you guys, check this book out. Please get you a copy. It is really awesome. Um, I've blessed a couple of people with them, with this book. But I'm using this on my table. Again, I usually put magazines here underneath and I might add a few but this is one of my books that I did put out on the table check him out Michael E. Grant thank you
Thank you.